Hey everybody, Kalma here with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about wearing goth fashion in the heat because it's something that a lot of us have to deal with and yeah. So I've come to realize that my personal style of goth is closest to new goth. So this, what I'm showing you won't apply for every style of goth, but you can use these general tips and tricks to sort of help you in most styles of goth. I really prefer Victorian goth, but that's really bad for hot weather, <laughs> for lots of reasons. So yeah, so let's get started. So the first and biggest tip that I can probably give anybody that really works for almost any style of goth, really, is parasols. Um, parasols are awesome in the heat because they block you from the sun, so it helps you with UV rays and stuff like that too. But it keeps you in the shade for the most part, at least the top half of your body. They're not like hugely inconvenient to carry around, and they're just honestly the best thing for keeping the top half of you cool and away from the sun without having to layer up or wear long sleeves and stuff like that, because that's also really inconvenient in the heat, and you don't want to be wearing long sleeves in the heat. And they actually make UV blocking specific umbrellas, but any black umbrella really does fine. But if you have problems with UV rays, then you can also buy a UV protecting umbrella, because those are a thing. Next big tip is a, something that you can't really do with all um, goth fashions, but wide brimmed hats. So this one's not terribly wide, but um, it kind of serves its purpose. Uh, you can get thing ones that are much wider, which I plan on doing, but hats are another great way to keep sun off of your face and off your shoulders, which will cool you down a little bit, but it also makes you a little hot on the top of your head because you're wearing a hat. So I would say parasols over hats, but if you like hats, then get some hats. Um, tights, you can wear fishnet tights or any sort of netted tights. They also keep you very cool in the summer and they're just really comfortable too because they don't really restrict you a whole lot. They're not super tight like regular tights are so fishnets and netted tights are awesome. You can also wear ankle socks which I'm sure not many goths would like to do but that also helps a little bit. Um, on the top you can wear shawls, really thin shawls to help cover your shoulders. Um, you can wear small thin capelets, things like that. Those are also very helpful in the summer because not only do they sort of block the heat on your body, but they also move around when you like walk around or when there's wind. So it kind of creates like a wind current around you and kind of cools you off that way as well. Another really helpful thing to have in the summer and carry around with you is a fan. Fans are a great way to stay cool. Um, they do kind of wear you out a little bit if you weren't using them too long because you know you're sitting here constantly fanning yourself. But fans are actually really great in the summer because they, um, they, they don't take up a whole lot of room in your bag. You can even just kind of like clip it to your bag because they have usually have things like this on them. And it's just great because you can just carry it around with you, fan yourself, keep yourself a little cool when the sun's just beating down on you. So fans are another great way to stay cool in the summer when you're off. Shoe-wise, in the summer you don't want to wear boots. Boots are usually much hotter than other shoes, so you can wear platform shoes, like smaller platform shoes, you can wear platform sandals, there's plenty of other options for shoes that are much cooler than boots. Um, even some small heels are awesome too, which depends on your personal style, but that's another tip that I have. Wear tank tops, or you can also wear just tank tops, or you can wear corsets by themselves, like don't layer too much. Layering is a huge no-no in the summer, you do not want to wear a ton of layers in the summer because you'll just sweat a lot and it's just gross and uncomfortable. So wear just tank tops, corsets, things like that. Those are also really great for the summer. Try not to wear super big thick chokers, like big thick lace ones. I have a couple of those and they actually keep you really warm, unfortunately. So try not to wear big thick lace chokers in the summer either. Try to stick to just metals because that'll also stay cooler on your body. Another tip that I have is long sundresses. So just one long black dress that or whatever color you want to wear. Just any long dress, it's just, just the one dress, your bra and your underwear, basically that's it. That's all you want to wear if you wear one of those. They actually stay pretty cool and they're pretty cute, you know, they're very gothy. Nice, long, flowy, goth thing, so yeah. Or, you know, you could just never go outside. I mean, just stay inside in the air conditioning in front of your fan and that works too. 
That's also a way to avoid the summer heat as a goth. Just wait until the sun goes down and then go out. That's, you could also just do that. Nothing wrong with that. You can just stay in all day and then once the sun goes down, just go out and then you're good to go. But even at night, sometimes it gets really hot. So maybe you can use some of these tips. I'm not sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Leave some comments down below with some other suggestions on how to stay cool in the summer as a goth. Um, again, I mostly kind of drift towards new goth, um, so I, ca I can't really apply this to every goth. I tried to include some things that could go with every style of goth, or at least some. So let me know some other tips. Um, feel free to add some more tips for other styles of goths down below. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!